welcome Aries this is the beginning part of June 2020 card read for you wanted to highlight this month for all signs that the full moon in Sagittarius is happening 15 degrees right and it is a lunar eclipse on June 5th find out where 15 degrees of Sagittarius is in your chart which house that is that will show you where it can have the biggest influence on you. I also wanted to highlight that your ruling planet of Mars is in Pisces. So this is asking you to keep pushing through the delusions. This is allowing you to see through all that watery energy of Pisces, right? Your sign's not exactly comfortable. Your ruling planet Mars is not exactly comfortable in Pisces. Get in tune with your emotions. Get in tune with yourself. Allow this Mars energy in Pisces to give you strong spiritual courage. That is what will sustain us through this ever-changing times. If you're new today, I'm Deanna with Empowering Empaths. I am going to draw you an anchor card first. Then I will draw some Twin Flame Journey Tarot and finish it up with an Animal Oracle. This is going to be a time timeless message always. You can cross watch for your Sun, Moon, or Rising Ascendant sign. Take whatever messages from each one of these videos and just use it to empower you. That is my whole purpose and intention of sharing these. I started this about three months ago. It is for soul growth. It is for empowerment. So really want to remind you with your home planet of Mars, ruling planet of Mars, excuse me, going, being in Pisces, just allow yourself to get in tune with your emotions, surrender, and allow your courageous spiritual aspect to just shine light on everything right now. I know there's an overload of information out there, you know, we have a lot going on. It's been intense. It's definitely changing. Nobody alive right now has experienced this particular pause like we have. And so just keep trusting that spiritual aspect of yourself. Allow it to be quite courageous. So we're going to do a Moonology Oracle first. God, Creator, Source, Divine White Light, I ask for your presence to be clear communication for all Aries that come in to tune in for this beginning part of June soul growth empowerment message. I give thanks in advance. So what is it for Aries? Give me an anchor card for Mary, Aries. I'll call you guys Marys. If you're new today, hit the bell. Subscribe if this resonates. Give me a like. I would appreciate that. Tune back in towards the end part of June. I decided to do two. Excuse me, that's too many. Two for this month of June because it's so transformational times. It's been very, very intense for everybody. Prosperity lies ahead, the new moon in Taurus. So this is fixed earth. This is something in the physicality. Maybe this pause has allowed you to revalue rethink we do have a lot of planets in retrograde rethinking about what you really truly value and what you want to take forward it's about embodying it with being an earth sign like that so just keep on your path keep on your track um, trust your intuition more than ever there's such an information overload out there i think i'll share this for all signs as well Use great discernment on what information you are taking in because you can get in information overload. So your anchor card is prosperity ahead. Fixed earth. So it's about physicality. Um, Taurus loves is ruled by Venus. So this is about our values. This is about beauty. This is about the comforts. What brings us comfort? This is also about um, monetary so with it saying this prosperity ahead, this could not only in the physical, with it being an earth sign, right, be some sort of money, and that could have, this pause could have reflected and had you guys reevaluate what really matters to you. So some of you could be switching careers. Um, that's inevitable for everybody because I think that we're going to go more into the internet. But for you Aries, you know, that cardinal energy, Keep trusting your intuition. You guys are leaders. You guys are initiators to get things started. And so really just kind of follow through with that. If you follow through with that, you're going to gain prosperity. So 
do some messages from the Twin Flame journey. What else do we have for Aries? Aries for the beginning part of June. Aries for the beginning part of June. More fire. Aries, the beginning part of June. How can we do this? Can you see it there? I think you can. Aries, for the beginning part of June. Okay. So, some of you may have, you got the devil card first. This is obsession. This is maybe something that you have thought and reflected upon during this pause. Um, I think with Five of Pentacles coming up next is maybe some of you guys have been feeling isolated and alone, but you've also been really evaluating. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a drink. Reevaluating what really, with that Taurus energy there, what really matters to you. Some of you guys are sick and tired of the same old trajectory. Some of you guys are sick and tired of feeling alone and isolated, but this is another earth, earth energy. So feeling isolated and alone, maybe a lot of you in this pause are biting at the bit, ready to go forward and get going in a different direction. That's super huge for a lot of people. So with you guys being initiating cardinal energy, that would make great sense. I think this pause, you know, we can go one day feeling very comfortable and the next day going, okay, I'm ready to get out there, not necessarily around people if you're an introvert like myself, but allowing that isolation and feeling alone, embodying it, embracing it, and I feel like a lot of you already are feeling that, but it's going to allow this new passion to come forward with you guys. I also want to highlight that that Mars and Pisces energy of that courageous, you know, spiritual courageous warrior that came up to me for a message for you guys. I think that can be your new pursuit. Um, this could be change of scene for everybody because we have universal alignment, the 17 star card coming up for you guys. So a lot of you guys have utilized this isolated five of pentacles or so embodying it, it's perfect for all signs right now, embodying that and that you guys have allowed this pause to bring in a new spark of passion for you guys. What that's caused is in a universal alignment. I love 17 because that to me represents um, immortal. Um, coming into alignment, what, what what's really going to go drive you forward with this passion, new values, and embodying that. You know, Taurus is fixed earth. And so it could be a lot of physical change this could be just in your body this could be gotta say this again um i think it came up for the read last month for aries too change in location because of this earth energy whatever it is trust that intuition and that fire that's sparking you forward because when we start living in our passion um, this is letting go of obsession too as well because it does say obsession on it but as soon as I seen that flame with that fire you know it made me think of your energy of that fiery Aries energy and so this isolation and alone in another earth um, card here two earth signs two earth cards and a little bit of fire going on for you guys don't allow it to burn you out and that's another thing too because your planet of mars being in pisces can just slow it right down so for some of you trust your intuition it could be a physical moving your body but it also could be teaching you a great surrender at this time if you can do that it creates this universal alignment and the universal alignment card actually goes really well with the prosperity lying ahead with taurus here because that is about um values new values change of values you guys are some of you coming into alignment that universal alignment and it's causing you you know with this venus taurus energy here venus rule venus rules taurus change in values change in whatever this could be physical change this could be some of you um 
male or female just you know pampering yourself you know whether it be painting your nails just something that makes you feel good another thing that comes up with this card too as well with Taurus is you know the finer things whether what whatever that is for you whatever your interest is allow that to keep happening within you you guys are coming into universal alignment prosperity lies ahead when you do that and I do believe this um, isolated alone you guys being a cardinal energy, right? Because the wolf is a pack animal. However, they have been known to also just set the mark, go out there on their own, and that'd be go really, really super good with you guys being cardinal energy, leading the pack, so to speak, right? So I love this message for you guys, and you will have a end of the June 2020 message come up as well. Thank you so much for being here. Write down in the comments how this resonated with you, you know, um, talk it away to listen to over the next couple weeks. Again, always timeless. I will see you towards the end of June, Aries, and namaste.